Hey, this is Herman Lee here, guitarist of the band Dragon Force. My name is Maxwell Reed. Uh, I am the co-founder and creative director here at Kingdom of Something. We are a boutique uh, motion studio uh, based out of Amsterdam and Berlin. So Aces approached us uh, with this project uh, for the new Aces Zephyrus Duo powered by the Intel i9 core processor. The, the brief was absolutely amazing. So we got paired up with Herman Lee and to create this uh, beautiful art piece in collaboration with each other. I love how this Zephyr Studio has been. I love the sound of the speakers. I love the clear image on that 4K screen. I just love the feel of the general thing. It's uh, really amazing. I just love how the second screen is. And I always struggle when I'm working on music or mixing audio where I'm just grabbing the mouse and trying to feel like a real human, right? <laughs> and having that second screen and to be able to move the faders myself using my hand virtually has been a real special thing about this laptop. So Asus sent us uh, the laptop and I've actually been using it as my daily driver for the last several weeks. And for me, I, I tend to travel a lot. We have a team in Berlin. Being on the go and to be able to have that power in one machine has been amazing. But on top of that, I would usually travel with an actual external display, a USB power display. But now that I have both those screens in that one machine, just being more compact and even actually more power than I have had previously, it's just made, made the work uh, so much more efficient, especially on the go. Working on the music on this laptop has been really easy. And I can tell you from years and years of making music is the last thing you want to do is have something technical to bother you, which will stop your flow. And I really like how it responds very quickly. You know, I'm recording the guitars and I can instantly get it in there, stop, start, just when I want it without any pauses. But uh, yeah, the, the project's been going really well so far. It's, I'm, I'm really happy with the, with the first episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. I, you know, I try to add something to the screen but not give it everything away on the first one. You know, the little game noises like uh, done on the guitar when the dragon's head get chopped off and uh, when they rise up, do the kind of weird woo guitar noises to kind of yeah. add a bit, but not too much, right? Not overwhelm the, the thing. So we got more weird stuff to do on the other ones. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I mean, I love when we sent over the visuals and you put it on top and your reaction was like, yes, it works perfect. Like, so when we get approached for a project we always tend to look at what's the what's the ask what's the problem what's the time we have to create it and figure out the absolute most beautiful and perhaps time efficient way to make that uh, the best way we can in this case we looked at herman's style and since we are a very diverse bunch of artists within the kingdom we we looked at the style we felt that this you know epic video game as as herman's very well known in in that sphere uh, we figured pixel art would be uh, the best way to go to match his his music so the animator did this cut on the dragon and I thought, wow, okay, that looks really cool. Um, I got to give something, I need to put something in the music to emphasize on that warrior cutting the head of the dragon. So I add some extra video game sounding guitar noises in it. And when the warrior was lifted in the air, you know, kind of summon, I also added some kind of noise to really kind of make the effect of the warrior flying in the air um, with the guitar. So every Every single effect you hear is not actually a keyboard, but created using an electric guitar. I think, like, let, let, let us dive in to the animatic. I think, like, once we get all those boards in, because, I mean, we, we listened to the music, we put together the story, and got a pretty good uh, look at that. It's going to be beautiful. Sounds so, cool. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to make cool, you all you know? look all sexy and, and awesome with your wavy hair. And... Oh, yeah, the hair's in the, there's, the hair's moving, right? There's some kind of wind. And... It's, it's going to be like a, one of those shampoo commercials. We can swing your hair around. And... And, and, you know, I need more guitars. I'm, like, I really need some more. So Clearly, you know, yeah. This, I mean, this, this is good. Yeah. Nice. So which one's yeah. your favorite? Which, actually, which one did you, uh, which one are you using for uh, the episodes? Are you doing it a bit different and like overlaying the tracks? I have a few different ones depending on the sound, um, but the main one I'm using is this one here. I got this one made um, 
and this only one of these actually exists by PRS. They've never made a guitar like this, so they made a custom one for me. Uh, it's a cool one. It's got it's got kind of a retro vibe by trying to do some kind of neon um, synth wave kind of color vibe on it. Dude, that that is gonna those that color scheme is gonna match perfectly with the the third video that will be, or, that we're gonna be making together. The campaign's going great so far. Again, it's it's a little bit almost like a, a, a dream project where we've been paired up with an amazing musician like Herman Lee and just collaborating and having a very open uh, sort of creative brief where we are essentially creating anything that we want uh, and it's yeah it's been a blast